वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल प्रेजेंट हेयर आई एम पंकज शर्मा टुडे माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन रेनफोर्सिंग अर्थ रेनफोर्स अर्थ यूजिंग सस्टेनेबल कंस्ट्रक्शन मटेरियल सो देयर आर लॉट ऑफ टेक्निक्स टू स्टेबलाइज द बी प्रॉब्लमेटिक सोइल एंड स्लोप सो वन ऑफ टेक्निक दैट वी वर वी आर डिस्कसिंग टुडे इज ऑन सोइल नेलिंग सो there are construct, uh, various construction activities for the world required the stabilization of different problematic soil unstable slope and terrain the ground can be improved by certain ground improvement technique like mechanical stabilization bedrock compaction and there are uh, various other technique like stone column geo grid or um, by various uh, stabilization technique to stable the problematic soil for example there is a mechanical stabilization what is actually mechanical stabilization mechanical stabilization is just to compact the soil with well graded material for example that we have a fine grain soil we have only fine grain then we mix some granular particle into the soil and then compact that in with a weight that is mechanical stabilization under any load that is under any roller pressure uh, any compacted uh, compacted load that is called mechanical stabilization jaise ki hum road pe karte hain road construction mein normally karte hain next is, is our bio bio compaction bio compaction is a name indicate that the compaction has been done by using vibration तो जब वी हैव लूज स्लोप ऑफ सैंड देन वी यूज दिस टेक्निक फॉर डेंसिफाइंग द सोइल नो बट इज सोइल नेलिंग एज द नाइन नेम इंडिकेटर सोइल नेलिंग द रेनफोर्समेंट ऑफ अ स्लोप बाय यूजिंग एनी एनी नेल एलिमेंट एनी स्टील एलिमेंट दैट इज सोइल नेलिंग कंसिस्ट ऑफ पैसिव रेनफोर्समेंट ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग ग्राउंड by install installing closely spaced steel bar that is nail which may be sustainable subsequently and cased with grout ye hamare paas soil nail hai theek hai this is a soil slope aur ye koi soil ki pahadi hai so we have to stable this this is our soil these particles are of soil So what happen when we install this nail? This provides some friction force to this because we know our shear strength depends upon C. Our shear strength equation is equal to C plus sigma ten phi. Okay. Now we have C is our cohesion. ठीक है. and sigma is our normal pressure tan phi is our interaction factor and this phi is our angle of internal friction now what happen the c is due to water for our case the nail increase of c value is our adhesion for nailing here c is not water content c is our adhesion now normal pressure is the pressure exerted by soil on nail element and sigma sigma is uh, sorry phi is our angle of friction angle of internal friction in soil because of granular particle and sigma phi totally sigma phi become as a interaction factor now when we install a nail to the slope this phi value this uh, tan phi value will increase and increase the strength of soil slope now construction proceed from top to bottom short grit and concrete also applied to the excavated face to provide continuity now when we excavate a soil then we start our excavation from top to bottom from this point to this point we start our excavation from top to bottom in this way not from bottom to top 
So, at then, when we install our element to the nail, then we make a paste of cement and water that is called our rod and placed along with our soil nail element. Now, this is better over our retaining walls. Now, first of all, this technique has been launched by Australian Tunneling Organization in 1964 for the stabilization of tunnel, upward soil of tunnel. This is our tunnel and this is our soil which is unstable. These particles try to excavate, try to move from this position to this position and try to fall down or make a landslide over there. Then when we install a nail, nail come into play and stop the stabilization, uh, uh, unstable forces and make the tunnel a stable body using nail element and grot element. Next is our, first of all we have to very important discuss that which condition, which type of ground condition are more favorable for soil nailing. First of all, the soil nail where the ground water table is very low are highly favorable. But the position of if, if the water table of so, uh, soil is very high, then these are unfavorable for soil nailing. To incorporate this problem, we covered our nail element with zinc, ele uh, with zinc coating to avoid the risk of rusting. Next, our unfavorable favorable soils are also poorly graded soil, that is sandy soil and uh, soil with high cobbles and boulder. The soil which contain many boulder, large size stone or cobbles are unfavorable. Also, the soil are very fine grain soil, the fine grain soil are there, also very unsuitable for uh, soil nailing. Now, what is the advantage of soil nailing? Now, this required very small space, construction causes less disturbance using installation to the roadside, cause less environment impact and soil nail wall are well limitation. What is the limitation? The limitation that the soil nailing are not well suitable where the ground water table is very high. Now very important to discuss that various component of soil nailing. The soil nail, this is a, you are seeing the element, this is a nail element, this is a nail element and this is a broad element. So, and this is our slope, this is our slope area, and this is our nail. We install a nail at various inclination, and from this rod, there is a hole inside this nail. This place a grot over there, then the grot try to move from this position to this position and make the element completely a monolithic unit. Now, these are some other element that is facing, this is our facing and this is our steel plate to hold the nail with facing. Now there are uh, various other element that are the permanent facing, temporary facing, geo, uh, grid, geo -com composite and steel bar. Now, how to apply or execute our soil nailing technique in soil slope? So first of all, we excavate a slope, a small cut of 1 to 2 meter. Then this become a platform to execute our XI of soil nailing. Then we drill a hole at various inclination. Then we install the nail along with grot. Grot is a mix of water and cement. There is also we uh, uh, apply various type of drainage gallery to remove our 
water from soil raising surface. Now we apply our temporary facing to the structure. Now this is the way it look like after installing. Sorry. This is our phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four. Now the all drainage gallery are connected to a one major drainage gallery that is pro drain, pro drain, <coughs> which acts, uh, which suck the water from all drainage gallery and collect in pro to drainage gallery, which helps to remove the water from the nail structure. <coughs> These are some picture which showing the executed or position of soil nail in field after installing this nail it look like this and after applying some concrete facing over the nail it look like this now various type of code that re recommend various design parameter various design step to uh, execute this technique are um, FSWA which is mostly used for soil nailing throughout the world that is FSWA manual now there are various other manuals like Hong Kong Geo 2008 that is Geo, uh, Geo Guide Geo Technical 2008 the name now the according to the various code the mechanics work around the soil nail is explained from this figure this is our soil nail element and this is our slip circle when slip circle passes through a nail the nail element divided into two, two zones that is active zone and this is our passive zone these are the um, diagram which representing our soil layout and schematic diagram of shear stresses distribution of shear stresses and schematic diagram of tensile forces maximum bending moment occur at the center of soil nail now this is the soil slope and these are some nail installed at various angle at various inclination now the slip circle pass from 0.3 to 0.4 times the height so this is the position of slip circle from where soil try to move from this place to outward now this is our facing which try to fix the soil nail system at an 90 degree at an uh, right angle position now this is our LP which is most important part in our design concept what is LP? LP is pull out length which provide a pull out resistance to the nail system and these are force distribution of nail and these are these are uh, estimated according to code that is 3 point 0.3 times to 0.4 times the H and these are <coughs> estimated using limit equilibrium method for the factor of safety that it may vary from this position to this position that is our slip circle now the tensile force that can develop in tendon depend upon location of our slip circle the location of maximum load also changes from nail to nail the interse intersection of soil nail with the slip surface depend upon length of that soil nail that can be developed pull out resistance the soil nail pull out behavior depend upon large number of uncertain parameter as overburden pressure, water content, saturation level, shear strength of soil and testing material and soil nail time now as the figure indicate that stability contribution of upper soil nail is relatively smaller than the other two nail which means that LP of nail 1 is lesser than LP of 2 and LP of 2 is lesser than LP of 3 means the pull out strength of third nail is more than pull out strength of nail 1 so our slip circle so uh, we may increase our length 
from this point to this to up to large length whereas we may decrease our length of nail from this point to this position now how it works the fundamental mechanics involved in soil technique nail technique develop of tensile force in soil nail due to lateral deformation of soil the tensile stresses are mobilized within soil nail mainly as outcome of friction interaction between the nail and the surrounding soil also due to the soil structure interaction between nail head and surrounding soil the maximum tensile force is mobilized at interaction of soil nail with potential failure surface the potential failure surface divide our reinforcement into two zones that is this is our potential surface and it divide our slope into two zone that is active zone and this is a passive zone active zone mean there is some displacement of soil or this is our fixed soil so it divide our slope into two reason that is active or passive the maximum force mobilized at interaction of soil nail with the potential surface the potential failure surface divide the reinforcement into active or passive reason the zone in front of face of the potential surface which has a tendency to separate itself from reinforced structure is termed as active zone in active zone the soil try to move from its actual position to outward in outer direction now the frictional shear stresses mobilized on the surface of nail are oriented toward the facing and tend to pull out the reinforcement the soil in activism try to pull out the soil from its actual position to outward to make a landslide now with a downward deformation of the active zone the axial displacement along the nail result in mobilization of tensile stresses in nail till the maximum shear uh, shear capacity of nail soil nail interface is reached so our soil try to pull out the nail up to that limit which is the maximum resistance offered by that soil so what happen uh, our nail increase that resistance our nail increase that shear resistance toward the slope now the zone behind the potential failure surface where the area is stable and inhibit the failure of reinforced system is termed as passive zone the whole the uh, restraint or uh, reaction um, provided by in comparison to the active zone is by passive zone now the zone tend to restrain the reinforcement of pull out thus the soil nail to fasten the two zone active or passive the soil nail length present this zone provide required pull out resistance now that is our nail act as a fastener between act as a screw between active or passive reason it try to make the two different unit that is active reason and passive reason into a one reason that is by screwing or by grotting a a nail element inside the slope now the soil nail is subjected to primarily tensile force along with shear forces and bending moment which are generated as a reaction of to the slope deformation however contribution of bending and shear resistance in comparison of pull out capacity is very less the meaning the nail can offer its tensile strength facing resistance and other resistance to the system but most important factor is our pull out resistance which totally support our system so pull out is considered as most important parameter for the designing of soil nail now this is the diagram to understand the pull out force now this is our nail element so it has also material property then this material property is our the resistance offer by that material property like geo grid it may be geo grid geo synthetics maybe a nail element 
then that is called our tensile uh, resistance. Next is our facing resistance. What actually is facing resistance? The element or that is our concrete or a sheet applied to the wall of a nail wall, a soil nail wall is called our facing. The material of that facing is also a material or that provide also a resistance to the structure but the most important is our LP. LP is our pull out length. This pull out length provide maximum resistance to the structure because it acts in potential uh, surface in passive region after potential slip circle. So when there is a movement in this region, they, this soil, this soil try to move over this region. Then when there is a action, there is a reaction. When there is action, then there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when there is a displacement over this area, Mm. When there is a action in this area, there is an equal and opposite reaction in this area. This is a Newton third law. The Newton third law, when there is an action, then there is a, there is a force act over this region. There is a reaction force involved in this region. That is our LP or that is our pull out force. That is our pull out resistance. Now this is our slip circle. So when <coughs> this force become up to the level of maximum pull out force then this region become unstable mean when this pull out resistance let's suppose this pull out resistance is p is equal to 10 kilo newton let us suppose and there is a force applied by soil particle by displacing from this region is our by applying this momentary force about 5 kilo newton then there is no problem will occur to the soil surface but again this soil uh, there is a rainfall over this region and water infiltrated to this region then the force become equal to 9 kilo newton let us suppose now again there is a some load over this Manu, there is a vehicle, there is a vehicle over this, then the load become 90 plus 10 kilo newton, then there will be a failure of structure because this force become greater than the this force, our this force. So we have to provide some more nail to st stable this slope to stop this type of movement of soil stop this type of a load so to make a slope stable we have to provide this this force more than this force means we have to increase our pull out strength to st stable this slope more than for more forces now we have now various types of nail which we can use these are the, our uh, old type of nail the ancient in uh, ancient era people um, use that is bamboo stick the bamboo stick were used along with conventional nail Conventional nail is simply just a steel rod. We can use uh, some of rod with steel and some of rod with uh, some of uh, at some of position or bamboo stick. Or we can use complete slope uh, in complete slope a bamboo stick. But these are not preferably more because these are biodegradable substance and will decompose after five to ten year and make the slow fail. So after treating bamboo stick by certain type of chemical by some certain type of coating it may we may increase the life of span of bamboo stick but uh, we avoid for better for a um, 
important structure we avoid this type of things because lifespan of bamboo is smaller but otherwise we can use bamboo stick over our conventional soil nail these are some fiber reinforcement polymer which are we can use uh, in the place of our conventional soil nail in the place of steel these are some uh, spiral nail which we use, uh, use, uh, use in the place of conventional nail by directly installing into the slope of soil, unstable slope and by action of crowd force now the latest type of um, nail uh, used in market is our helical soil nail helical soil nail is just simple rod along with set of helix we install the helical nail by screwing action to the slope by a screw action by a rotatory force at very small speed that is about of 10 rpm now what is advantage of helical soil nail there is a less disturbance uh, we install by screw action there is a no grot we save the cost of grot now high um, pull out strength um, high pull out capacity offered by these nail we save the cost of water drilling cost and grot mixer and very easy to execute fast execution now uh, any unskilled labor can do this type of um, uh, operation on site these are various types of uh, technique to measure the pull out value this is an uh, instrument which pull out the nail and uh, predict the pull out value of nail now these are some results when we install our nail into surface the top is in zigzag way the top reflect by our machine in zigzag way that is increasing or decreasing in some way that is showing our strain softening phenomenon of soil in a granular soil this is our pull out value the pull out value start increasing up to some point and then become constant or show some De uh, declination or some fall in slope that is the maximum point maximum uh, the point where the peak value reach that is our maximum pull out strength for the worst condition now um, what is the high, uh, height of installation that is 0.7 times the edge the nail length of nail is considered equal to 0.7 times the height of slope as per FSWA code. Now, what is the conclusion of this? From this, it is uh, we can conclude that soil nailing in soil nailing, pull out of soil nail play an important role for the execution operation of soil nail. Next, soil nail is effective technique and use can uh, can be used in uh, stiff to fine grain hard soil and pull out of soil nail is an important factor and very easy to installation any unskilled labor can also execute the technique now this is all about soil nailing thank you very much thank you